Oh, hello. Welcome to this next tree update. So we just arrived in Madagascar where we are currently quarantining in a hotel waiting for a corona test result to arrive, just to play it safe. We're still not exactly sure what sites we're going to be able to visit. It's the end of the rainy season and a lot of the sites are inaccessible due to excessive rains and mud. But we're very excited because tomorrow we're going to meet TBSC in the southern part of the country where they're planting endangered tree species to protect amazing wildlife. All right, now we're in the south with the team of TBSE and this morning we visited their amazing nurseries and now we just climbed down that mountain where we visited pristine patches of forest that they're trying to reconnect by planting highly endangered tree species. So thanks to your searchers, this year we're gonna plant one million trees, which is gonna have a huge impact on the communities living here, but also all the wildlife. In two days, we're gonna be in the north where, spoiler alert, it's going to be a totally different landscape, so see you there. It's okay, it's actually going to become a struggle soon. <laughs> <laughs> I promise this is the last one. So we haven't quite made it to the north yet. Turns out it's not always easy to reach biodiversity hotspots. I've now joined the team in the north of Madagascar. And because we have planted millions and millions of trees here, we need a bigger team to check on all of it. It's hard to believe it, but we finally made it to the north. And I'm actually standing here in a forest made by Ecosia Searches. And it's a fun story because I was here five years ago and then this place was the nursery. But after the planting season, they saw that some of the trees that they kept in the nursery were actually growing pretty fast. So they decided to leave it and move the nursery somewhere else so this could develop into a true forest. And this is what it looks today. This is the power of nature. We are now at a much younger site that's recently been planted and we want to know how many trees are growing here. And we do that by using this methodology called PCQ, where we take samples across all the site, and that's going to help us to know how many trees are surviving. And that informs us how many trees we put on our tree counter. We've arrived at our final landscape, which is a mangrove planting site. You can find mangrove trees along the coast, and mangrove trees are excellent against coastal erosion. They're very good at protecting sea life, and they absorb a huge amount of CO2. They're a little tricky to monitor. However, they're quite easy to plant. You take one of these propagules, which grows from an older tree, and you stick it in the soil like this. Then you'll have a tree growing in no time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that video, please like and subscribe. And now we're done. <laughs>